In this video I'm going to try and do a quick fire reviews on all the new goodies I've been trying lately. I had a huge haul recently so I want to go over some of those products and I have been accumulating a lot of goodies lately because there's been so many beautiful wonderful releases especially for the holidays and I want to share some of those with you and also just to let you know a few that I've still got to do reviews on. So if you are interested in knowing some of the new goodies I've been trying lately and what I think of them, just keep watching. Hi guys, my name is Ange. Welcome to my channel where I like to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman as I navigate my more mature years. I love makeup and skincare and anything sparkly and beautiful that is just going to enrich my life and make me smile. If that sounds like you, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. I also do lots of eyeshadow tutorials aimed at the more hooded eye girl. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each time I upload a video. I do try to aim for one video a week. So let's get into some of these products. I'm going to start with the first one I am wearing at the moment. I think it'll be the next video that comes to you and that is this eyeshadow look using the Vanity Makeup Eyeshadow Palette, the Signature Palette. Now it was a first impressions look and it is the first time I've used this palette but I am going to get a lot of use from this. I really, really think it's fabulous. I love my neutrals and the fact that it's got different finishes in here, the mattes and the beautiful metallics. I think it's going to be a staple in my going out evening um, arsenal. I am going out for dinner this evening with my husband. I have surgery for my um, breast cancer mastectomy on Tuesday so we're making the most of it and going out as a couple and trying to have a nice romantic evening before that happens. So I have done a very glam look tonight in anticipation of a wonderful night with hubby and I think it's a perfect palette for a date night. I'm just going to grab everything. I wrote a wee list of the things I've been accumulating it, and there's quite a few things on this list. So I've just chucked it all on the bed so that I can reach for them and talk to you as I go. Now one palette I did film earlier today with this palette and for some reason my camera was out of focus and I've gone to edit it this afternoon and it's just it didn't work out and I had used the Too Faced mini little forbidden fruit cake palette so I had utilized this duochrome shade here it was quite a warm look if you are wanting to see a tutorial using this eyeshadow palette let me know down in the comments below it is a limited edition holiday palette but one of my most favorite palettes in my collection is last year's palette the hot buttered rum so i did want to pick up another one this year and give it a go so let me know if you want to see a review of this i personally probably didn't need this it's very warm and i am more adverse to the very warm palettes the hot buttered rums more neutral and i wear that so so much so this is probably a little bit too warm but i really enjoyed this duochrome shade here it rather than being duochrome with a blue which is what normally happens with this greeny shade it's more with brown so it did really go well with these warm shades and the brown and there is a lovely little pale pink in here 
as well which was quite pretty but do let me know down and below in the comments and let me know if you would like to see a review of that and I will refilm one for you at the same time as purchasing the vanity makeup eyeshadow palette I did purchase the two contour brushes as well one nose contour and one face contour brush these are fabulous you use the smaller side and it's for cream products the smaller for applying the cream and then you use the other end for blending it out these are fabulous I just need to try and find the right contouring product to use with them I didn't want to purchase the vanity makeup ones because they appeared too creamy for me and for my oily skin I thought that might be an issue so I may try the Mario one makeup by Mario one I'm just going to reach for things guys a mascara I have tried is the Charlotte Tilbury push up lashes mascara this is okay I wouldn't say it's brilliant but then I don't have the best lashes I don't mind the brush on it actually and for getting really close to the root of your lashes the brush I actually do appreciate I am going to keep trying it I haven't used it that often to give a really in-depth do I love it at the moment I'm on the fence with it these I love I decided to try the Kayali fragrances and I didn't want to spend 200 New Zealand dollars on a bottle of perfume if I hadn't smelt it and I it didn't work out for me in my city you don't have access to Sephora it's only online and so I can't physically go and try these fragrances out these though are the perfect way to try the fragrances these are oil based rollable fragrances and these are perfect I'm actually taking one of them into hospital with me this week because they're so easy to pop into my makeup bag I got white flower one white flower 57 uh, deja vu and invite only amber 23 I love all of these they're just beautiful and on the other one I got Utopia Vanilla Cocoa for a vanilla fat based fragrance that is beautiful and I got the Pink Pepper 25 Sweet Diamonds I love them all and I think probably my favourite one so the duo I like the most is the Sweet Diamond uh, pink pepper 25 and the vanilla cocoa 21 just if I only had to choose one but I think I will continue to buy them in these sizes because they're so so convenient they're just so easy with the rollable just to add them on and they are just the very sensual smells if you like fresh and crisp fragrances I don't know if you'll like these these are definitely on the warmer and sweeter side but beautiful another new product I've picked up recently is the milk makeup hydro grip primer I actually don't mind this I haven't used it too much to decide if it's up there in my top three but it's definitely up there in my top five it's very good at holding on to your makeup but I, I want one that's going to do that and smooth my skin as well for my texture and my open pores but not disliking this too much I'm going to keep trying it and uh, it's definitely up there in the top five of my primers okay another eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palettes are just coming out of my ears at the moment Wayne Goss the tourmaline palette divine love it I actually like it a lot more than pearl and when I got pearl I thought that was going to be my everything but tourmaline is just beautiful 
and I'm going to have a lot of trouble. I'm going to rank all of my eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased in 2021 and I am really going to struggle to get my top picks and this is going to be amongst it, I'm pretty sure. Love this palette. I am really enjoying Wayne Goss Accentual Eye Coals as well. They are just so lovely and pigmented. I have Deep Amethyst. Deep Amethyst. Um, Copper Flame which is really different for me for as far as eyeliner colours go. And we have Tiger's Eye. Now these Tiger's Eye and Copper Flame were the two that I bought with the Tourmaline palette. And Rich Hazel is just going to become one of my staples that I'm going to have to have in my makeup stash at all times it's just a basic for me it is a basic makeup item that I will need to have in my makeup arsenal now talking about pencils I've got one missing my Huda Beauty lip liners these are the lip contour 2.0 I have sandy beige honey beige and it's disappeared there it goes and pinky brown I love these lip liners I actually love them so much more than the Natasha Denona lip liners now I love these for applying they look really really good on my lips but I find halfway during the day they go quite grey on me. I don't know what it is, but the tone of them, they go quite grey um, as the day goes on. And it just looks different to the lipstick that I'm wearing. These Huda Beauty ones, definitely my favourite lip liners of the moment. And uh, just love them to bits. So really, really happy with those purchases. So let's get into some foundations I've been trying in since my big hauls. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. This is a foundation that I have used before. I have mine in the shade 5 Medium. I'm really happy to have it back in my collection. I enjoy it very, very much. It's perfect for my combo oily skin and I am enjoying it immensely. However... The much raved about Airbrush Flawless Foundation is a bit of a fizzer for me to be fair. For a start, I've got mine in 5.5 Neutral. It is so yellow, I feel very jaundice when wearing this and really uncomfortable. The only way I can wear this as far as a shade goes is to definitely mix it with a very very neutral shade to tone down the yellow and secondly it's quite cakey on my skin I haven't been able to even with a damp beauty sponge I am having a lot of trouble getting it to look not cakey and it is not flattering on my mature skin so I have to mix it a with something very neutral to tone down the yellow and something a lot more luminous and light to try and take down that heavy cakey full coverage effect so that I won't be repurchasing this again but I will use it up by mixing it with other foundations I thought after hearing lots of reviews about the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation I would give this a go. I've got this in the colour Y315 which is perfect for my winter shade but I don't like this foundation. It's too luminous and glowy on me and it just I just feel really oily and feel like that I'm a mess, a hot mess after a very short time with this foundation. I think it would be beautiful on a more normal to dry skin, but on my normal 
more oily combo skin it's not a fave for me and I won't be repurchasing this one. I decided to try a foundation that I have used in the past and loved and that is the YSL All Hours foundation. I made a boo-boo and got it in shade B30 which is a little bit light for me so I'm having to mix it for its colour but I actually find this probably a little bit too dry looking on my skin. I wouldn't say it looks matte, it looks dry. So this is another foundation that I'm only going to get through by mixing it with another foundation that maybe is too luminous and a bit warm. I can use this as a mixer. And my skin tone changes so much over the year. So I get really really pale in the winter which this would probably suit me perfectly and then I do get quite warm in the summer months even without sitting out in the sun and that's just because of my uh, ethnicity and my tanning that just happens very very easily. Another product I got from Charlotte Tilbury and I surely surely do not know what the fuss is all about and that is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now I haven't sprayed any on but let's give it a go. I seriously don't know what the hype is about setting sprays. One, I do not feel it gives me any longevity on my makeup. Two, even if I feel like I look powdery and want to tone that down, a lot of people I watch use a setting spray to combat that issue. Doesn't help. Does not help with me. So um, definitely a not a repurchase for me because for the price of it, it makes no difference to my makeup wear, how my makeup looks, so it's a waste of money for me but other people really really love it and I just don't know what it is about me and setting sprays. Something for the weekends when I don't want to do this full beat makeup that I tried recently in a get ready with me. I did do a get ready with me and it might be coming up and I used it for a very natural not going full beat but trying to do a really pared down makeup look and I used this Maybelline BB cream uh, it's called the Maybelline Dream Matte BB cream but the day I did that makeup my son commented on how nice he thought I looked that day and it was super super natural but this is what I was wearing and he was quite impressed and he's very kind with his words and uh, when he makes a comment like that it means he really does like it so this is going to be perfect it's super affordable I'm going to love that to be wearing on my weekends when I'm not filming full beat face looks like this. Now I did pick up the Hourglass Edit palettes. I got the Ambient Lighting Edit in Universe. This is the light palette and because I liked that so much, I did pick up the Universe Unlocked darker one as well because I love the blush colours in here and I can still use these and utilise them for eyes, things like that. But I love these palettes. Now because I'm enjoying playing with those so much, I busted out the other two that I have that I really, really love and have been enjoying these again too. So this is the Ambient Lighting Volume 3 and the Ambient Lighting Edit, the first unlocked to come out. So I have been really just using these as my bronzing and blushes and the good thing about it it's got the diffused light where I can use it for setting my under eye and I'm really loving these. I just love the Hourglass Edit palettes and I get suckered in and buy them most years. An eyeshadow palette that I picked out that was super affordable and not one I had on my radar and just 
tipped it in my basket to get free shipping was from Morphe and that was this Madison Bear palette and I have done a look with this but look at those shades they're so pretty and feminine and beautiful and I was really impressed with the quality of these now they just had cyber week specials and this palette was on special so I picked up two of them to gift to other people that don't have a big makeup collection people I know and I thought they would really enjoy this palette so I've picked that up for them as well because I really like it and for someone like me who likes my luxury high-end eyeshadow palettes this was a beautiful find for me a product that has blown me away and I absolutely love and will stay in my collection I will repurchase as I run out is the Pat McGrath's Labs Itensifies, Itens Intensifies Artistry Wand now this is a really interesting product to me it's like a glue stick or some sort of primer but you use it on your eyelids as a primer for any metallic or any shadow you want to pop and it's so easy to use it's not it's just swipe it on and it really is great for making those shadows look more impactful love it will keep purchasing it i'm getting through it guys a another palette i picked up charlotte tilbury she's all over the show man this beautiful holiday palette that I picked up, it's the Luxury Palette of Pearls in Celestial Pearl. I do have a video for this. I'll leave a link for you. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I loved Star Aura when it came out last year and I love this. It's just ethereally beautiful and it's you, it's hard to muck an eye look up with this palette so easy I think a newbie into makeup really would have no issues with this it doesn't matter whether you use one shadow all of them they're great one and done looks it is a beautiful palette and highly recommend this to anybody beginner or not I have just done a video on this beautiful palette and I'm so happy with it and it is the Natasha oh look at that the only thing is, is it's terrible for the mitts, but it's got beautiful packaging. It's the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I got it in light. My video is in with the light. It has five beautiful eyeshadows, a cream blush, and the most beautiful highlighter. In fact, I'll use... A eyeshadow brush the highlighter in here is to die for look at that it's just gorgeous and the one I had on was that I need a nude so this is even more fantastic than the I need a nude and it's just look at it beautiful probably went overboard probably need to dab that out with my sponge but it's gorgeous I loved it so much I did buy the dark one so if you guys want to see a video using the dark palette so new I haven't even taken the plastic thing off the mirror this is the deep I haven't even swatched it haven't even taken photos of it love it might have a look at that see and I think I'm even going to be able to use the highlighter there if I wanted gold so if you would like to see a review video on this palette let me know in the comments below and I will get on to that as soon as I can we're nearly there guys Another palette that I have done a review on is by Huda Beauty and it's the Wild Obsessions palette in Jaguar. 
Now these are the sorts of things, I mean, I love this palette. I had so much fun with this. It's beautiful, it's stunning, it's impactful. But I'm always going to reach for my neutral palettes because, and things like this, because I can rock them during the day, I can rock them during the night, and I'm going to feel really comfortable. Whereas a palette like this is definitely a going out party kind of palette. Love it to bits, just probably won't get as much use out of it as I would for more of my neutral palettes. Talking about neutral, I just love all three products that I purchased from Makeup by Mario when it was launched at Sephora New Zealand. The Master Mattes palette is by far going to be up there in my favourite palettes. I know that for sure. So love this palette, so pleased I got it. Very, very happy. Love how easy it is to use, how it blends, the pigmentation, the quality. Highly, highly recommend this as a very basic neutrals palette. I actually think it's better than the Natasha Denona Bieber palette. That's just my humble opinion. The Prep and Set that I got in light, I feel I can also get it in medium. Love this under eye setting powder and these are great for eye primers. Really impressed and enjoy that. I do use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer a lot for setting my eyes and I'm nearly getting through my tub and after that it's really these two are my favourites when it comes to eyeshadow primers. The brow product the master hold brow gel now i had actually forgotten about this until i went to film this video but i actually have it in my brows today and i really like it it is probably one that you can feel on your brows when you touch it feels like not quite crusty but it's definitely not fluid but it's holding those brows in place so it's a plus for me. Another palette that I have recently done a tutorial for and I will eventually get round to doing a three looks one palette with this and it's the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey. Look at those shades. There's so much fun in there. This is my fun palette. This is my colourful fun palette and is going to be the one I reach for when I want to do pops of colour and have fun with shadows. I am definitely a neutrals girl, that's what I, my ballast is and what I go to, but it's nice to have a fun palette. I don't have any, if any, I don't have many, if any, and uh, this is going to be in my book, my colourful palette. The Colour Riche lipstick, I'm wearing it today in 642. Love it, love it, love it. I would be happy if this was my only nude lipstick in my collection. Love it to bits. Two items that I struggled with when I reviewed these on my video, Getting Ready With New Makeup, that I had hauled. But somebody, one of you guys reached out to me and told me how you use this. And I have been trying that. Now I'm going to put a picture up here of how well my eyes, eyelashes have been going. So the lovely lass told me what she does with the Lancome Sills Booster XL is that she uses two coats, but she lets it dry in between each coat and dry before she uses mascara so that's what i've been doing and it does work looking at this photo and the lancome lash doll mascara i'm liking it more as it's not so new so i think this is a mascara that gets better with time i am enjoying it a lot more than when i first tried it now the reason my lashes are looking so good in this little picture mm -hmm is this now to the person who told me about this lash serum a long time ago and i took a screenshot of it and 
put it in my um, list of things to try that you guys recommend but I'd skipped over it until I had actually met someone who had been using it and was like wow and that is the flash eyelash serum now I've been using eyelash serums on and off for a while I like new lash I like grande lash this is so super damn affordable in comparison to those. It's only $49 as opposed to me spending between $120 for Grande Lash and $200 for uh, New Lash. So love this. It's working. And so I know I can go back to this after chemo and when I lose my lashes I will be purchasing this. Another product that I had in my haul video was a lip gloss, the Maybe I think it's Maybelline, Lifter Gloss. I've heard lots of great things about that, but it's not one of my favourite lip glosses. I still love the Fenty Gloss Bombs, so uh, yeah, Fenty is my favourite, and the Wayne Goss, actually. I do like the Wayne Goss lip glosses as well, so there's that. And then just a couple of items. I'm speeding up because we're actually late going out for dinner. So, still got two more products that I do need to use. I haven't used yet because I want to use them in a getting ready with me or review video. I still need to use the Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette. And I'm going to do a look for that as a New Year's Eve holiday look. And I am going to film tomorrow my Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. Um, I've only got tomorrow left to do some filming. Probably won't get around to doing any filming for a month. I have my mastectomy surgery on Tuesday. So that's what, three days away. And then I'll need to recover from that. And first week of January... I am going to start chemo so there may be a delay in me filming videos which is why I'm batch filming them in these two days and so tomorrow I'm going to film this palette here really looking forward to it so up my alley these shades and so that video is coming so that's two reviews still to come of these two palettes don't forget to let me know if you want to see the Too Faced um, forbidden fruitcake palette down below um, I think I've covered everything I've used in recent times from my recent purchases I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day guys please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos I will update you as I can as far as my journey, um, my breast cancer journey and everything. I've been keeping myself so darn busy lately that I don't think I've had the time to really comprehend this. Everything has moved so quickly over a six week period. Um, I've been so busy with work, it's end of financial year, end of school year, so I've been keeping myself busy at work, keeping myself busy at home, planning to get videos done, planning for Christmas, that I think I've just been too busy for things to get too real, and so I'm going to probably, I can foresee me struggling next week, I'm in hospital for four days, and I think when I am sitting there on my own with my own thoughts with nothing to keep me busy and distracted is when I'm going to find it tough. So I will see you when I can and with new videos. I'll keep you up to date, I promise. And thank you so much for your support and your love. It's really bolstered me in these last few weeks and I truly appreciate it. I do hope you've all had a beautiful and wonderful day. Thanks guys, I love you all and you are amazing with your kindness and your support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later guys, bye.